weights. The first round is going to be each of these rounds for three rounds is 60 seconds on, 20 seconds of break. And then after the fourth exercise, I'm going to encourage you to get out and do some intervals in between our, our stations. First exercise is going to be a renegade push up. So with your weights, you can have your hands on the ground or off, but you're going to do a push up and then you're going to do a row on, on my knees do a push up and then you're going to do a row with the other arm so you can do this from your knees or toes if you are on your toes I recommend widening your feet so you go down and then widen your feet to do a, a row all right if figure out what you need to do for your fitness level we got 60 seconds let me get the timer going warm up all right so Three, again different two, options one you're gonna do a push and up. go and then you're going to try to row and then do a push up and then go to the other side. Okay, if that's something you can't do, that's fine. Just do a push up and hold there in your plank. And then halfway, you're going to get up and do a row. So you can do a standing row or you can do a sitting row. Seven seconds. I'll show you if, if uh, you need a different option. So you'll just stand up. Halfway, it's halfway and do a rows with the weight. So if you did push-ups, now you do a row. Great work. Good job, Tina. We got 20 seconds. Remember, all these are designed to go at your level. If you need to rest, you can rest. 15 seconds. Three, two. One, chill. All right, guys, grabbing your weight. We're standing up. We're going to have one weight. We're going to do a lateral lunge. We're going to go down and touch that inside, and then we're going to wrap it around and then go to the other side. So this is a wrap around lateral lunge. We're going to touch and then wrap Three, it around, come two, up, and one, then go to the other side. Go. Remember on the lateral lunges, we want to make sure we're in our heels. All right, so as you go down and as you move, your weight is in that front heel. The side, the heel that you're stepping to, your weight is in that heel. You can also do this without weights. So if you need to put a weight down, you can. Just make sure you're stepping, both feet are pointed straight ahead, and you're moving into the, that hip and heels, not in your knee and That's your halfway. toes. Halfway there, guys. Different exercises. First two, awesome work. The, second, the next exercise, encourage you to use your weights. So I'll show you an option. You just need one weight. Last eight, we're gonna be doing a squat with the beep beep. Show you Three, what that looks like. Two, one, so you're gonna squat two. down, and then from there, honk the horn, beep beep, and then Come up, the arms stay straight. Down, beep, beep, and then come up. Another option is adding the band instead of the weights. So the arms are straight. Three, down, two, move, one, move, and press go. to the heels. So keys on this is keeping your weight in your heels as you squat down. Beep, beep, and then press to the heels to stand up. Sitting on that chair, beep, beep, and then coming up. Sitting on that chair, beep. Beep, coming up. Now I want you to, I want to hear it from you as you squat down. Beep, beep. beep. No, there you go, Tina said it. I know, it's kind of one of those, when you're doing the exercise, you don't want to say anything. That's so I, I get it. Awesome work, guys. We are over halfway on this. This is our third one. We've got one more exercise. We're going to be getting on the ground for plank and shoulder taps. I'll show you what that looks like. We get another 10 more seconds. Get another 10 more seconds. And seven, five, three. All right. Two, plank one, with the shoulder two. taps. So on your knees, you can also use the elevated surface like a chair. We're going to slowly come up and tap your shoulders. If that's too tough for you to do, you can also tap the hands. That's a little bit slower. You can also Three, tap on the two, middle, which would be one, the other go. level down, 
or you can just hold your plank. A lot of levels. This is a core exercise, so we want to focus on the hands staying underneath our shoulders. Our shoulders pull down our back, our abs being engaged. So move your hips so they're not pulled back or not sagging to the ground so that you can feel your core working. All right, we have another 30 seconds to go for this That's first right. station. Remember, in between stations, we're going to be doing cardio. Okay, so if you don't have the availability to open the door and get 30 seconds to 45 to a minute one direction and then come back, you're going to press pause and do high knees for your cardio. So trying to get your heart rate up and you're going to put your timer on either 45 seconds Three, to si two, 90 seconds. One. Your timer, timer is, is complete. complete. So again, press pause. Get either high knees if you're staying inside. Get get 90, 60 to 90 seconds. If you're out, just figure out how where you want to go and come back. All right, second round. So if you decided not to do that, you just hung out with me for a second. Second round, we're going to start with everyone's favorite, the burpees. So if if you're one that needs um, an elevated surface on the burpees. Let me just show you an elevated surface. So we are out here. I can use this as my burpee. So a chair, a table, a chair. You're going to stand, come up, and then back. So if that's your level, you can do that, okay? If you can do it from the ground, same thing. You're going to step, step back, step forward, weights in your heels, step forward, and then stand up. And then level two, you can hop back and hop forward. The end goal is you're going at your own level. There's a lot of ways to do a burpee. That's the first exercise. So figure out what you need to do, what your level needs to be. And we're going to get the timer going. Form up. So again, Three, focus two, on your form. One, if you're and going go. out and stepping, you make sure you're in your, your hips. Make sure that plank. And you're going to land in your heels. Land in your heels and clap over your hand. If for whatever reason you uh, say, I'm not doing a burpee, even on a chair, even on a table, even on an elevated surface, you can just do cliff climbers as an alternate exercise. Remember, never focus on what you can't do and only what you can do. Okay, guys? Awesome work, Tina. That's halfway. Clapping over your head, get that shoulders, and then by the clapping, you're also getting your heart going, okay? Having your hands go down and up and causes your body to have to work harder your heart have to work harder your heart rate goes higher you burn more calories doing so last 10 seconds gonna be two options for the the bicep curls on this three you can do a standing two, curl one, so chill. 20 seconds of rest you can do a standing curl or if you have the knees that you can sit this is just a different variation. You're gonna be doing a kneeling curl, okay? So again, options are on your knees like I just did, or Three, if you know two, that your knees one, probably don't need to be go. on your knees doing a kneeling curl, you're standing up and doing the exact same thing. What to focus on? Elbows staying on your rib cage. Your shoulders are pulled down their back so they're not hunched up trying to do a curl. You're going all the way down Straighten that arm and then all the way up to your shoulders. Your palms are facing up. Because we just did an exercise that caused your heart rate to go up, this probably is a little bit difficult That's than when we, if we had done this the first exercise. Good job. We have 25 seconds to go. Next one, we're going to be doing the left leg runner's lunge which i'll show you what that looks like or a sprinter's lunge give you a few options we'll have 10 more seconds keep going tina great work at home five three two all right one, so chill so runner's lunge so level one you're just going to tap both hands are going to come and then we're going to bring those arms up that would be level one level two we're going to go down like a runner like we're going out for a sprinter and then come up and then level three you can actually bring that three, foot up two, as you come up one, okay so level one i'll go over again this is tough to balance because you're on one leg 
Going down and then up, level two. You're going down like a sprinter would go off the blocks and then come up with that knee and the arms. Great job, guys. And then level three, if you want, you're jumping as you come up. You're bringing that left leg off the ground. This is a great one minute exercise here, guys. Oh, your left leg is loving you right now. We got 30 seconds to burn that hip, burn those backside, burn the legs of that leg, left leg. Awesome job, guys. Just know you're gonna be resting in 15 seconds. You're gonna be on your mat. Not, your legs aren't gonna be doing anything. Next exercise. Nice job. Five, three, four, three, two, two one. one. Chill. Great job. We're gonna be on all fours. You're gonna grab a weight and you're gonna be doing a left arm tricep kickback. So the weight is gonna be on my right hand right, directly underneath my body. I'm gonna bring my elbow up and then I'm gonna do a kickback three, with the, the two, weight. One and go. This is a core exercise too. So want to focus on that right shoulder being pulled away from your ear. Focus on your abs being pulled up towards your spine. And then yes, the elbows are staying still. All I'm doing is moving my forearms back. If you'd like to add one more step to it, you can, when you go up, bring your palm up to the sky or ceiling. That's going to do that twist and That's work way. those triceps. Last one of the station, guys. Almost there. Isolating that left tricep, but we're also working the core. The back, if you're pulling that belly button towards your spine, is working. Almost there. 15 seconds. 10 more seconds. You're going to press pause again for a second time. If you can't get out, for if you, for whatever reason, have to two, stay in. One. All right, resting, for whatever reason complete. you have to stay in, you're going to do a cliff climber instead. So press pause, 60, 90 seconds of cliff climbers. Or, again, press pause. I encourage you to get out, go somewhere, and come back. Uh, a total of, at the, at the very most, five minutes, but try to get uh, 60, 90 seconds out, 60, 90 seconds back. All right, guys, this is our third station. We will have a finisher after this third, fourth, four exercise station. Uh, first exercise on this is gonna be a squat jump. We're trying to get your heart rate going. So the, the way we're doing the squat jump here is our arms are gonna go back with our hips, and then we're gonna extend up when we come down. So down, and then extend up. So as you're doing this, make sure your weight stays in your heels. We're not doing this yet. We haven't started the time. All right. Warm up. Four exercises. Three, this is the first one. Two, Pull your hips back. One, Extend up. Go. So we are bending the knees. So we're not doing the hip hinge exercise. Although we, we are moving with our hips, we're going to try to bend the knees into that squat. So we're going to get low as we can. And then as we come up, you're exploding up on your toes or you're trying to get a little hop off the ground, okay? Whatever that is for your fitness level. Nice work. Guys, this is our third exercise, our third station. Focus That's on halfway. going through. We're past the halfway mark for the workout. Good job. Keep going, last 15 seconds. Awesome work, guys. This next round, you may only need one weight. I'll Three, show you what we're two, doing. So one, we're going to hold two. the elbows up and do the bicep curl. Okay, so you may only need one of your weights instead of both because we're going to try to keep your elbows up and bring all the way out, all the way in. Focus on your shoulder position and then all the way. If that doesn't feel comfortable Three, for whatever reason, two, can One, go back to a normal. Go. So the elbows up, going to go to your shoulders and then control it all the way. Try to straighten those arms out. Elbows up. And again, if that gets too tough, bring one weight down. And if that's too tough, you can go back, revert to the old fashioned bicep curl, the old, the one that we always do. Nice work, guys. So 
But as you're doing this, always focusing on the same things we always talk about, your shoulders being pulled down your back, those That's abs halfway. being engaged, the tuck, tucking in that belly button ready for me to hit you in the stomach. Nice work. We're going to be moving to that right side runner's lunge or that sprinter lunge that we went over the last few exercises. Awesome work, guys. Last 10 seconds. Just a very a different variation for the exercises that we normally do. Three, Three two, two, one. one. So two. now we have our right leg sprinter lunge. So we're going to step back with our left, half level one, and then come up. Level two, we're gonna go all the way down like we're for a sprinter, going out and then coming up. So pull the hips back, and then level three, you can try to get, get a little hop three, off that leg. Two, so again, I'll one, go over level one go. again. We're just tapping that leg back, and then extending up. Level two, we're trying to go down, and like we're going on a, that sprinter, that back knee, and then come all the way up. What this does, is forces our body to get in our hip joint, which allows our, us to isolate the muscles we want and are trying to isolate. Great work, and yes, it should be burning after a certain period of repetitions. That's halfway. 30 seconds to go, guys. Awesome work. Moving and grooving. Keep moving. Keep moving, you got this guys. 10 seconds, Tina, we're gonna be on our ground with our right leg, our right arm. Three, two, two one. one. So that right Chill. arm extension, tricep extension. Again, I'm gonna keep that lower back up by pulling my belly button, bring the elbows up to my rib cage, and then just extend back. If I wanted to add another variation, I can bring the palms up Three, when I come two, down. My palms are one, facing me, and go. or in, and then when I come up, I'm going to twist it up to the ceiling or sky. Really focus on pulling that belly button in towards your spine, guys. If you're right here, it's easy to sink that, that lower back into the ground. I want you to pull that belly button up. Keep that core engaged as you're doing this. Make sure that left shoulder is not hunched over. Make sure your left shoulder is pulled back from pulled away from your ear. That's halfway. All right, 30 seconds to go. Again, we'll be our third round will be finished. Again, encourage you to after this get out and do some quick cardio. But I'll give you we're going to be doing stepping or jumping jacks if you don't have access to open the door and go somewhere for a minute or three minutes. 10 seconds, Tina, 10 seconds at home, guys. Three, two, one. Your timer is complete. Timer is complete. Again, uh, stepping jacks. If you don't have access to going, press start and go 60 to 90 seconds. If you can, get out the house and do 60, 90 seconds of intervals and come back.